Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the major difference between condition split and multicast transformation? Let's open our SSDT or builds whatever we have according to the uh, SSIS version installed on our system. And we see that we are in the control flow pan as, uh, as of now. I'm in the new package. And uh, I have to bring a data flow task to use the transformations. In the data flow task, we have different types of transformations we can use. First of all, we have to have read the data from some source and then implement the transformations. So I'm reading the data from a OLEDB source. Uh, that's my SQL Server table. I'm going to read data from there and use uh, this customer table. It has column first name, last name, address, phone number, and region code. Let's preview the data. It has four records, and the, it, each of the records comes with a different region code. I will be using this column later for the demonstration. So now, to understand what is multicast, multicast accepts one input from the source and then generates or uh, distributes uh, the same input to the multiple outputs. What is happening here? It, it is, let's say it receives four records uh, uh, from the source. It is going to create multiple outputs uh, with the four uh, records on each of the output. Uh, we, we can use multicast as uh, for test purpose as well, as we do not have to configure it. And if you see that I didn't open this one and uh, configure any input column, output column, or wrote any expression, so that's one major difference as well. Uh, in the condition split, you will see that. So uh, right now, from this multicast one, I'm using for test purpose. So I can bring another one and I can use it. So what's going to happen now? It is going to read four records from the SQL Server table and give to the multicast transformation. Multicast is going to generate two outputs for now and each will have four records. Let's run the SSIS package and see the output. Sorry, uh, when I was saying four records, actually our table has five records. So th that's one thing uh, uh, we were missing. But uh, that's still true. Whatever the number of records you are getting in the input side, the same uh, amount of uh, records uh, will be created on each of the output uh, by using the multicast. Now, let's demonstrate the conditional split and see what is the difference. Inside the one data flow uh, task, we can use uh, multiple uh, flows. Uh, I'm going to use uh, another OLEDB read from the same table or I can read from different table and then uh, uh, we have actually five records. Uh, this uh, IDs were kind of uh, confusing so that's why I took it four and the last one was uh, ID four and but the number of records are five so uh, click uh, next. Now let's bring the conditional split in the condition split, it also accepts one input, the same way multicast does, but it does not generate the output the way multicast does. Multicast generate the replica, the exact amount of records on each of the output, but condition split generates output according to the condition we have provided. So here, if I, uh, I click multicast, I don't have any way to write expressions or anything, but uh, here when I double click multicast, I have to have write some expressions. So in this case, we are using region code and we're saying if region code is equal to AS, uh, generate or move all those records uh, to the output called Asia. And if uh, region code is Europe, EU, if you see that data point value is equal to EU, then move all those records uh, to the Europe output and any other values uh, if you see uh, North America NA or uh, SA uh, or any other value in the region code uh, you can move to the default output. So how it's gonna work when the record will come to the, uh, the condition split is gonna check the first condition if the region code in that record is AS if it is it will be moving to the AS uh, output it is going to, if not, then it's going to go to the next step and say, okay, let me check for EU. Uh, and if that's true, then it will, it will move to the Europe output. If not, then it will move to the default output. So it is generating three outputs for us. And one row will not be going on multiple outputs. 
so it has to be the condition will be true for for uh, maybe Asia or maybe for Europe if not then it will be going to here but in multicast the same records go uh, goes on the multiple outputs so that's the major difference now we can use the multicast here just for test purpose and see how our output will be looking like connect the condition split we have to have Asia here and then next part is we have to connect with the next multicast Europe and the last one will be going to default so what's going to happen we will have one record coming for Asia one record coming from Europe and then three records will be going to the default output we can run the, the both of them in the parallel we don't uh, we can uh, as they are in part of one uh, data flow task we can just execute the data flow and uh, that's how it will both uh, flows will run we can go to data flow and uh, run from there as long as we start our package it is going to run anyways from if we are in the control flow or even the data flow doesn't really matter so let's uh, start the package and see the output we can see that in the multicast uh, it is uh, reading five records and uh, generating output uh, multiple output with the same number of rows on each of the output here with the conditional split we are reading uh, the uh, five records uh, and it is generating one record on the Asia side one record on the Europe and uh, three records on the um, default output uh, side so that that's the major difference between uh, these uh, two transformations if you need to generate the same output uh, um, from from your input uh, you will be using multicast if you will be branching out depending on the data values uh, you will be using conditional split thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video